Hello guys, you're welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about uh, the Neko practical. And we're going to start with number three, and that is electricity. I know you have been waiting for this. Thank God we are here. So I'm going to start by looking at uh, the psychic diagram of the ball. Now, this psychic diagram represents what? A meter bridge. This double line shows what? The rigid part of the meter bridge. And I'm going to interpret it one after the other now. Then we are going to see the simulation on how to assemble the circuit. Then by his grace, Wednesday, we are going to drop what? A full practical question from why past question on this particular word, on this particular circuit. So that is going to work perfectly suit what we are asked to do in the NECO practical electricity to be precise. So on Thursday, I'm going to be dropping that of mechanics, that's on pulley. And on Friday, by his grace, I'll be dropping that of uh, optics, and that is the rectangular prism. So that is how we're going to go. So let's quickly look into this and see how far we can do well in this particular exam, like we have been doing before. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do that now and click on the notification bell so that whenever I drop video, you will be alert that yes, a video has been dropped. If you are yet to like this video, kindly like it now, comment and share within your friends. Thank you. Now, let's look at the board now. If you look at this now, this symbol is a symbol of a resistance. Now, the resistance in this place now is unknown. And that is what we want to determine. If you look at the rudiment of this particular experiment, is to measure unknown resistance. Now, if this is the unknown resistance here, this place is going to be a known resistor, usually being what? A resistance box. So in this experiment, we are using resistance box here. So that we can have varieties of what? Values for resistance R. Now, we want to determine the resistance of this particular one. Of this particular wire now if I vary and vary what the value for R I should be able to have this to be constant so and that's the reason why we are using resistance box now if that should be the case here is a galvanometer and here is a jockey here is a constantine wire on your meter bridge this constantine wire is the wire that you find on the yellow ruler that you have or the white ruler or the metal ruler depend on the kind of metal bridge you are using so this is what this is the constantine wire and here is your jockey here is a galvanometer and uh, here is your cell and uh, this symbol also represents the symbol for key remember in some cycles you can have your key in this manner so it's not problem this one is also a symbol for key that is your switch and I told you, like you know before, all these are known as what? As wire, that is connecting wires. Now, all these dots that you can see here, they represent the terminals that we have on the meter bridge. All these dots, they are the terminals on the meter bridge. You are going to see that shortly now. Now, haven't seen the diagram, let's quickly look at how we can connect what? How we can connect the circuit successfully but before we go into that i would like you to note something in this particular experiment that we are going to be given by neko now we are asked to what to make this to be what two ohms then we are going to connect another unknown resistor with that two ohms we are going to see that provided that we are ready to see Okay, if that should be the case, let's quickly look at how to connect what the circuits of a meter bridge. Let's look into that now, as you can see there now. Meter bridge experiment. Assembly. We are going to connect the circuit as shown in the diagram. Here is the diagram I showed you previously. So we're going to connect the circuit as that. Here is meter bridge. A meter bridge has a left gap and a right gap. Then in between we have a terminal D. We are to connect the unknown resistance on the left gap. 
of the meter bridge like we can see the wire we are seeing here is what we want to determine its resistance so we we'll connect the negative terminal of the galvanometer to the terminal d so that's the negative terminal of the galvanometer so the positive terminal of the galvanometer will then be connected to the jockey as you can see that's the positive terminal of the galvanometer and it will be connected to the jockey we done with that so the right gap we are going to connect the resistance box to that so we'll move to the right gap the resistance box will be connected to that and mind you you can as well vary it by putting the resistance in the left and put the unknown resistance in the right it's the same thing so the terminal c that is the point that will mark c we are going to plug our negative terminal of the key to it so so the other side of the key which is the negative terminal of it is going to be sorry the positive terminal of the key will then be connected to the negative terminal of the battery then the positive terminal of the battery will then be connected to point a of the meter bridge and that will mark the end of the connection of the circuit so as you can see we are done so that's how to go about the arrangement now that we are able to do what to set up what the apparatus now in respect to the circuits given to us let's look at some theoretical fact about meter bridge but before i go into that i would like you to understand that whenever you want to determine the resistance of a conductor is that we make use of the wisdom bridge or we use what the potentiometer or we use what the meter bridge like we are using in this experiment so whenever you are dealing with meter bridge potentiometer or wisdom bridge they are all method of determining what the resistance of a conductor now before i go into some calculation about what meter bridge i like to recall some factors that usually affect what resistance of a conductor and how they work now let's see if i have a resistance now this is resistance this is also resistance there is need for us to know the difference between these two now this is a, a resistance known as what what a conductor offer to the flow of current and this one is also a resistance known as what the source that is producing current offered to the flow of current. This is internal resistance. I can call this one external resistance. So internal resistance is the, what, the resistance offered by the source that is producing current. External resistance is the resistance offered by the conductor itself to the flow of what? Current. That is opposition offered to the flow of current by the source and by the conductor so they are both measured in ohms so when you talk about the wisdom bridge or you're talking about uh, the uh, potentiometer or meter bridge they are all focusing on this now let's see how we can our, our, our factors that affect what that affect this so let's talk about this now so we're talking about the factors that affect our external resistance of a conductor so what are those factors one we have the length of the conductor. The length of the conductor affects the resistance because it is directly proportional to it. That is, if the length should increase, the resistance will also do what? Increase. If the length should decrease, the resistance would also decrease. That's that. And two is the area of the conductor. Now, if the area should increase, what will happen to the resistance is that it's going to decrease. And the uh, if the area should decrease, the resistance will do what? Increase. That's just about that. And the third one is the nature. The nature of the conductor. So, this is known as uh, resistivity. So, the resistivity of the material is what we call the specific what? Specific resistance over by what? A conductor. And the unit is Newton meter. 
Are we together, guys? Yes. Okay, the fourth one is temperature. Temperature. So, temperature resistance is proportional to temperature. That is, if temperature of a conductor should increase, the resistance of that conductor would as well increase. These are factors that affect what resistance of a conductor and how they affect it. Are we together now? Now, let's look at some questions on the meter bridge. Now, let's take for instance that I have a meter bridge like this. Here is an ohm, let's say I have a 2 ohms resistor there, and here I have an unknown resistance. This is 2 ohms resistor, here I don't know this resistance. Now, here is the wire on the meter room, and here I have my galvanometer, and here is my jockey. So, here is the cell that is the source of current. Now, if this galvanometer balance at 0 0.60 degree, sorry, 60 centimeter rather, I'm sorry, so this is 60 centimeter. This galvanometer balance at 0 0.60 centimeter, what will be the value of this place? Very simple. From here to this place is 100. So if here is 60, here will be 40. How can we determine the value for the unknown resistance? Recall that R is proportional to L. If R is proportional to L, the ratio of R to L is going to be a constant, mathematically. Okay? Hence, the ratio of this is what is a constant. The ratio of this to this is also what a constant. So they can both equal to each other. So I have 2 all over 60 to equal Rx all over what? 40. This and this can cancel. So if I cross multiply, I have 8 over 6 to be the unknown resistor. Okay, so this is going to give us 4 all over 3. So we have this to be 1.333. And that, so approximately, this is 1.3 ohms. So the unknown resistor is 1.3 ohms. And that's how we can determine the value of the unknown resistor. It's just like what you've seen in the previous uh, slide when we are talking about what the arrangement of meter bridge. And this is what the examiner are also what uh, expecting from you. Okay, let's vary this question. What if I know the two resistors? Let's say I have this to be 4 ohms. And uh, the question says we should look for the balancing point. That is, if this is 2 ohms and this is 4 ohms, at what point will the galvanometer point to what? Zero. That is, at what point will the galvanometer balance? Let's see. The galvanometer will balance at point X. That is, from here to this point, let's call it point X, which is the balancing point of the galvanometer. If here is point X, then here will be 100 minus X, right? Okay, if that should be the case, I can just say uh, the same thing that we did earlier is what we are going to do. So we have 2 all over 100 minus x to equal what? 4 divided by x, like this. If I cross multiply, I will have 2x to equal what? 400 minus 4x. If I collect the like terms, I will have 2x plus 4x equal what? 400. So this is 6x equal 400 and x equal 400 divided by what? 6. So, if this should be the case, I'm going to have 200 all over what? 3. So, what would that give us? Well, it's not to waste time. So, 200 divided by 3, that will give us 6 points. 6 points. 66 points. Uh, 666. So, let's say 66.67 in centimeter. So, like that. So, X is going to, the balancing point is going to be 66 point what? 67 centimeter. And that is how we can go about calculating the value of an unknown in a meter bridge. This can also assist you when you are doing your experiment, either to caution yourself if you are going wrong with your answer, you can use this to balance check whatever you are doing. And also, you can also use this to manipulate if you know your way. That saves your time in the exam hall. This is where we are going to stop the class for today. 
by God grace, like I said earlier, on Wednesday, I'm going to drop what the full video on how we carry out reading as regard the question that Neko will be asking us on this particular practical. We are going to do the practical in real instead of the, sim the, the simulation that you are seeing. And uh, on Thursday, we are going to be dropping the number one practical, which is the pulley that's on that mechanism. It's quite interesting as well. And lastly, on Friday, we are going to be dropping what? Experiments on the number two question, and that is about what? The optics that's rectangular, what? Rectangular prism. So we are going to have a nice time together. As always, we are still friends. If you're yet to subscribe, don't forget to do that. And uh, you can share this video within your friends as usual. Thanks always.